Hey, what's going on? Uh, back with uh, another video. Not not gonna be. I know I've got a chart and everything behind me, but <clears throat> um, this one's probably gonna be a little different. Um, don't know exactly how I'm gonna title this, um, but uh, I wanted to come on. I wanted to say um, thank you to uh, to everybody that's come by the channel. Um, that's kind of done the, 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 the email and the, the, the DMs, uh, just, you know, sharing, you know, comments, what, what you, you know, take from my content or what you don't take from it. Cause it hasn't all been positive. So that, that's just the, the nature of, of what we do, um, and how people communicate, which is fine. Like, you know, don't always want to hear positives, want to hear negatives too. Um, but, and, and this isn't related to that. This is just something like as I've um, kind of had the ability to, to reflect over a few things over the last, honestly, like the last f four days. Because, um, excuse me, I will say that today was, was um, somewhat of a culmination of try trying to figure out. And I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not really going to go into that here. What I will do, though, is um, I haven't done a 55th podcast in months. So I will more or less um, do something that I typically don't do because I, I, I don't. Honestly, um, I come up with, with a concept or an idea. I say, hmm, I want to talk about that. And then I hit record. I turn this mic on and then I just I go right I don't script anything. However, um, just because of the number of things that I, I kind of want to talk about, I probably will not script, but I'm just going to write out some things. Um, I will either do that, that 55th podcast uh, recording or episode um, like tonight. Um, I have a couple of different things that I'm going to share with you now, which will kind of um, realistically like guide the direction of this channel going forward. Right. So uh, more backstory in depth in the 55th uh, podcast episode. So that that's out the way. Um, I'm thinking of taking this channel in a little bit of a different direction. Um, all that means is essentially um, I may still just do like the weekly uh, weekly weekly bias videos and, and put those out. Um, I would entertain the idea and the thought of doing um live streams for certain sessions so basically right now um <laughs> it's crazy i'm gonna say it this way but ba based on how how um my scheduling and everything is set up right now um i would probably be looking at like london session to uh to actually do like a live stream or even like pre-New York or New York, actually, uh, New York Open. However, that might change in the next week or so. Um, I'm still open to those live streams. However, the way you're seeing me now in the live streams, um, it, it's probably not going to be the most inviting thing because I'm going to turn on my, my same boring music that, that some people think is, is, is boring, but um, it's representative of uh, a movie and just the type of uh, easygoing, like a lo-fi flow that I, I that I like. And those streams will just basically be you watching me uh, go through price action. Don't know that that sounds like the most sexy or the most appealing thing in the world, um, but that is something that um, I am considering because you don't need to see me. However, I know that a lot of times when I've done live streams in the past, I will literally um, type in the chat what I'm looking at, what I'm looking for, what price is doing, what I think, so on and so forth. So I feel like even from a chat perspective, I'm still looking and then that's a level of interaction. Like you don't necessarily need to see my face to know what I'm thinking because I'm going to put it in the chat. So <clears throat> that that's one thing. Uh, the other aspect is... Um, to, to curate the rest of my content going forward for um, potentially a family member. And I'm not 
certain that they're going to really be interested. It may literally go, you know, just fall by the wayside and it might just be something that's sitting out here on YouTube in the uh, the ethosphere for however long that the content or the platform or that the, the median, the medium of uh, that information, like however long it lasts. Um, maybe somebody finds it, you know, whenever and they apply some of it and it works for them and, and doesn't. So where is all of this coming from? Uh, probably more in the 50 Fed podcast <laughs> and, and in terms of the, the reasoning. But I've just kind of come to the conclusion. And uh, after listening to um, a snippet from the mentor of our mentors, um, there was something that, that was very fundamental that was said that you know, I kind of always understood and I'm not going to say it just resonated with me, but it brought me to a, not an aha moment, but it just brought me to a point in a place where I said, you know, when we make videos for, for people that are in the trading space, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking very generally and very broad. So that means anybody that, that is an educator, anybody that's selling a course, anybody that's teaching a strategy or whatever it is um or somebody like me that's just sharing a journey because i don't feel like i'm i'm teaching or educating anybody like i'm i'm just sharing what i'm doing and it's like my journey so I'm, i am in no means telling somebody hey do what i'm doing i literally just say hey look this is what this looks like to me this is what i'm looking at this is what i see you can take it and go look at it go test it and see what you think about it and then that that's kind of it but um, to come back to that point and that, that moment, um, it's literally a situation where, you know, I find myself asking, okay, so when I make the videos, I'm kind of, like I said, I'm just recording my journey, but what, what benefit, right? What's the benefit out of it? And the one thing that I came up with or one of the, the one of a couple of uh, answers that I came up with was I can always go back and watch what I was doing previous or how price played out in a certain situation to be able to pick up on, you know, um, not just the differences that I've, I've made in my trading, but also just being able to identify certain uh, flaws like the live streams that I was doing when I was uh, testing basically a silver bullet. Because I was, I was actually, and I can say this to you now, and I can say it looking right in the camera, um, this we're in August, so basically five months ago, five, six months ago, excuse me, when I was live streaming a Silver Bullets, trying to do quarterly and, and macro and all of that, I didn't, I didn't have a full context of, of what, I, of what I should have been looking for, just point blank, flat out, right? Um, again, not something that you'll really hear anybody else in the space just come out and tell you, hey, look, I, I was off my rocker. And I was. Um, there were some of those uh, positions that I got into where I won't say that I was able to profit based on um, the silver bullet per se. I would say that I was able to benefit um based on maybe how price was delivering at those particular moments. So not even a full context of, yeah, I would have been right. It, it has nothing to do with me being right. It has everything to do with me being fortunate based upon how price was delivering. So um, that's my honest assessment of that. But um, that kind of brings me back to this, which is, you know, what's the point of the videos? I would still want to continue doing videos. I, I have, um, it's not a fascination. It's literally, um, it's a true love and a true passion. Like I actually enjoy sitting down, looking at charts, you know, studying price action, looking at what order flow is and you know, just like the whole, like every everything that's involved. But um, it reaches a point and there comes a time where I think legitimately we have to kind of stop and then ask ourselves, okay, so like what's, what's the end goal, right? 
So when I look at that and then I look at this, you know, I look at my channel, um, I think one of the things that I would like to do is to, like I said, continue to do the weekly bias videos. Um, but in addition to doing like the weekly, maybe I'll do some live streams um, in and around maybe like the power of three. So like this evening, it's it's uh, 5.55 p.m. Uh, this is August the 8th, right? So it's a Thursday, Thursday night. So one of the ideas is tonight, um, probably maybe on or around, I don't know, maybe 7.30, 7.30, 7.45. I was thinking, you know what? I could actually just, uh, I could either record, which might be better, or I could just live stream uh, Asia, an Asian session and a power of three um, concept based on whatever pair I pull up. So it could be um, right now, this is GU, which is not really going to be ideal for that time frame. So it'll be any any of the cross yen pairs, um, even an Aussie. Um, the uh, Kiwi is, is also a viable um, currency or asset. You know, Kiwi anything or Kiwi yen would be a, a, a decent cross. Might not, you know, you probably get more, more back and forth, uh, more whipsaw than actual movement. But point is um still kind of be want to be some some level of interactive because i'm passionate about it so i don't mind you know jumping out there and then just kind of not fooling around but just looking to see what what the potential is if if we um are able to determine and, and see basically a setup to to take what that looks like and then just kind of learn. So the live trades will probably be more or less like a uh, starting somewhat as like a blank canvas based around uh, some of the concepts and principles uh, centered around like power of three, uh, buy side, sell side, liquidity sweeps, um, some level of fractal, fair value gap. So it's 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 all incorporating of, of those uh, aspects and facets. But um bigger than that i just uh i'm i'm honest enough with myself just to kind of say you know this is more or less for me than it is for for someone else uh i'm not looking towards or nor do i uh really care whether or not there there's monetization at the end of 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 this road um this will be just for uh, educational purposes or anybody that finds any value from it. So um, I kind of just wanted to, to get on, share that with you all. Um, I will probably get back to... And when I say live trading, I don't mean necessarily like live like streaming, but I will probably get back to... Um, live trading in terms of like nq in a couple of weeks i'm gonna take i'm actually taking that uh if you want to call it like a mental break i'm kind of taking it off for a couple of weeks um as some of you may know um past my my uh top step combine on uh, this past sunday but basically because it was sunday um, didn't get like the notification and everything until Monday that actually is posted in the uh, community tab so you can go take a look at that and um, I posted the certificate and everything else there for anybody that needs proof of of uh, you know that actually being an occurrence if you need more proof than that I don't know what the fuck to tell you um, <laughs> but so um, with that yeah I'm, I'm just there's just a lot of a lot of things that have come along with that over the last couple of days um some some things that uh just kind of brought me back to why why i was doing this originally you know what what kind of got me into uh this space into trading and how honestly um, I just, I literally, I just, uh, I fell in love with it. Like I said, I can't, I can't say it any other way than that. It just became one of those things where I was looking at it and it wasn't necessarily just the, 
hey, I want to be able to make money from this. It literally turned into like the obsession wasn't the money. The obsession was I have to under <laughs> like I have to understand why. Right. Because it, and, and it sounds it sounds cliche and no. I'm not living in some big sprawling mansion on five and a half acres and, you know, no, none of that. But so I, I say that only to say the, the the financial gain should come, right? Because, you know, I'm trying to do all of the things the right way. And even with, you know, going into an XFA, I'm still trying to do it the right way, which was just because I, I, I passed, got everything on Monday, I didn't immediately pay Monday and say, okay, I'm going to start trading my XFA on Tuesday. I think that's the wrong approach. I feel like it took me 12, it basically took me like 12 days to, uh, to pass. Cause I, and, and even with that, like I took my time. So even I didn't feel compelled where I had to do something every day. So this approach for me might be completely different for somebody else. But the fact that I took my time to go through that, understanding what I would have been looking for every day. So like every day I could have come, you know, from work or come home because I was trading Asia um, with uh, with NQ looking for a power three setup out of out of uh, Asia. And for the most part, it you know, it, I, I, I benefited from those opportunities. There were a couple of times where I didn't benefit and I got, you know, I got stopped out which, you know, also was fine. But point in all of that was I took my time doing that. Now that, you know, that evaluation and the combine's been passed, I'm still taking my time because I don't feel like rushing in, like if I don't get it, you know, don't get my five days now, it's not going to happen. I'm not thinking like that. Um, so I'm, I'm going to take a, a, a step back. I'll, I'll uh, get my XFA taken care of like in terms of like the payment and I didn't even want to do that because I felt like you know once that's done I'm going to pull it up I'm going to look at the chart I'm going to chart something out and then that that you know goes into something else so there, there's again the logic and the reasoning behind why so sharing that with, with you guys I would just say um, I guess in closing because I don't want this to be a long video um, just stay patient with yourself listen to yourself um and, and that that's very important because, like I said, I've, I've had a couple of come to moments. Uh, I, I pretty much had like a big one today. Um, but just understand why you're doing it. Um, don't do it for um, the the expectation or the ability to, to flaunt or to show off. Um, if that's one of the reasons why you're doing it, it might take you a little bit longer to get to your 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 true objective. Um, but there should be some level of, of, of passion and obsession, right? Some, you know, obsessive compulsive <laughs> kind of, you know, attitude, maybe just a little bit. I think you do need a little bit of it. Um, which when people say I'm just like that, it can be developed. The, the, those of us that, that look at certain markets and things mechanically obsessive, you know, obsessive compulsive you, because you're you're looking for <laughs> you're looking for it and you're like, that's not it. So but yeah, do it for the right reasons. Enjoy the the, the journey, which sometimes in, in what we're doing, um, there could be uh, emotional roller coasters until you don't have like that kind of emotion tied to a position tied to a certain concept. When, when that erodes and then that's gone and, and, and it's almost uh, a robotic or machine-like, um, the psychology, I think, is, is the part that kicks in at that point. And, you know, you, you, you find your groove. But, yeah, just whatever you do, don't quit. If you truly, truly want to achieve, achieve your objectives, whatever they are, um, just don't quit. Because the only way that you're going to fail is if you if you stop. So that that's important. A lot of people feel like, well, what if I keep doing it and I keep failing? That means you just keep trying. That's it. You only fail when you stop. So um, don't know who needed to hear that. Um, 
20 minutes in, he's like, that's what you told you didn't tell us anything. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you guys stuff later. So, um, yeah, just look for the 50 fib, uh, podcast episode. Like I said, maybe as late as Sunday, I'll get it posted, but I'll, I'll basically, uh, take care of that. And I'll make sure that that gets done over the next couple of days, but I love you guys. Thank you. Um, maybe I'll see you, uh, Asia and, uh, yeah, take care.